The following presentation of the 2023 MLS Super Draft is presented by Adidas. Let's tell you about a player who has a very unique path to the Super Draft. Herbert Indeley is uh, a guy who grew up in the U.S., went to Tanzania with his family who are diplomats, and is now at Indiana on the brink of a pro career. I was born in uh, Minnesota in 2001 to uh, two Cameroon immigrants. Both my parents were born and raised in Cameroon. They moved over to the United States and hoped to provide a better life for their family and for their children. When I was four, we moved to Tanzania. My dad is an international lawyer for the United Nations, so we moved over there. Lived there for about five years. And I'd say that's kind of where I got introduced to soccer because I went to a huge international boarding school where... There were children from all over, countries from all over the world, so like soccer is the one sport that's played all over the world, so that's where I got into it. Soccer was the thing that I played every single day. We moved back in 2010 when I was nine years old, and then from there that's kind of when I started playing soccer, like organizationally with my local club team, and then playing in high school and then into college from now. My relationship with my dad is fantastic. I mean, I talk to him all the time. He's always a phone call away. Every time I call him, he'll answer. Even though he's so far away and he's so devoted to, you know, making sure that his family is okay and maintaining a good communicational relationship shows the, the type of man that he is. And he's raised his kids, not just me, but my sisters, and so well taking care of his wife as well. So he's a huge inspiration for me. This is kind of the one thing that I've always wanted to do. It would be a great moment, not just for me, but my my family and my parents, just because, you know, they've raised me, they've been by my side. The two people that have been by my side since I was a, since I was a young boy, they've, they've always believed in me, regardless of what I wanted to do in the ups and downs. Wow, clearly Herbert Indley uh, makes quite an impression as a person. What a journey to get here, what a family he has, Devin. Tell us a little bit about him as a soccer player. I want to add something to the journey, by the way, because most people don't know this, even though he was Mr. Minnesota and all that jazz. Wasn't really recruited a lot. In fact, it actually came down to two schools at the NCAA level. The famed Indiana Hoosiers, the most successful collegiate program of all time. Sorry, Slew, I know you guys got the most titles, but statistically, they are the best. And Northeastern. I mean, those are very far apart within each other, and yet he's so humble. He's got a high IQ, just like his parents. The learning curve, and what Todd Yeagley said to me, was something that was really interesting. You go from the guy being the guy, and you step into Indiana. Okay, can you work with others? Plays well with others. Checks that box. That's fine. Use him at the nine on the left side, on the right. Once he moved to the right flank, okay, you couldn't replace him over there. Literally irreplaceable. But he does give you that versatility up top. The learning side of things. He's not a very vocal person. So, you know, we all, some of us are visual, right? We, you talked about the board earlier and things like that. Some of us like to write things down. He actually will ask his questions and write them down and then have them given back to him. That's the way that he processes information. I was kind of taken back by that. I thought that was really interesting because you don't really hear that in the modern day. And yet, the kid's good. I mean, yeah. he's got speed. Big game player. Statistically, kind of like Josh Bulma. Josh Bulma, we mentioned earlier from Maryland, that the stats don't tell the true story because he got beat up a lot. I don't mean that in a negative sense. Endley's the same way. He's kind of like that hockey assist guy. It's the ball before the ball, or because there's so much pressure on him out on that right flank, he got knocked, battered, and bruised. Indiana scored 44% of their goals from set-piece opportunities. I promise you, <laughs> you go look at the stats from dead ball situations about where that foul come from, that kid was probably on the receiving end in tune, led to a goal. With the uh, number 24 overall selection in the 2023 MLS Super Draft presented by Adidas, FC Dallas select a midfielder from Indiana, Herbert Indeley. Herbert Indeley is a selection for FC Dallas. We learned about his story earlier on in the show and what a story it is. He is headed to Frisco. What do you make of the selection there, Devin? Yeah, work rate. We, we talked a little bit about him earlier, and if you're just joining us, he's got plenty of speed. Found a home on that right-hand flank for the Hoosiers. You know, what I look at him isn't, isn't 1v1. It's not playing a combo. It's once you continue to stretch, can you make that final pass? That's probably the biggest knock on Endley right here, but he's willing to work towards it. He can get – we just talked about Kevin Cabral. Yes. Some of that actually reminds me a little bit because he beats you over and over and over again, and yet that last piece of finesse 
just missing, but a big game player. Doyle, you mentioned it's kind of difficult for some of these guys to make a roster. He's going to do everything again. He's got the IQ to do it. He'll work hard. He'll work hard, and he'll work as a right back, I think. Like, this this screams uh, position swap at the MLS level. We've seen Dallas do a lot of that over the past few years. Guys like Eddie Mishama, uh, Emmett Lamassi, they've taken a lot of Come college wingers and made, made them right backs in Dallas. Of course, league-wide, Dewan Jones is the high point of that. The other thing I want to mention... 29th or 28th pick last year in the first round was Siki and Sabalu. Dallas took the guy 28th last year in the first round. He still got onto the field for about 1,500 minutes. If you're good enough, you will play for FC Dallas. And Endel, he's got a shot. Slide that right in. Reggie Cannon to Boa Vista. Brian Reynolds to Roma. Yeah, right Manuel back. didn't work out. We need a right back. Right back for FC Dallas is not a bad place to, to earn a living these days. And it's not a bad place to be in Herbert Indele's living room. They were having an absolutely wonderful time when he got selected. So happy for the young man and happy to see people uh, enjoying these moments so much in this 2023 MLS Superdraft presented by Adidas.